Lakeview Brain Break, and we are going to be doing the Crazy Kid Critter Challenge. Woo! Exciting stuff. I have with me the things that I need. I need this sheet right here. Uh, this is one that you could pause. You could take a picture of it with your iPhone. You could take a picture of it with your iPad or whatever device you have. So then you have it on record. You're going to also need a blank sheet of paper, uh, various sizes. It does not have to be big. And then if you can find one, you need to have magic dice. Uh, Six-sided is preferred uh, so that it is they are cube-shaped. Now, what we are going to do is, and I will transfer our picture down here, is we're going to look at this sheet right here. And I'm going to roll my fancy orange dice. And I get a number four. What number four says, I go to my first roll. And I go one, two, three, four. And I go to this body. So my job is now going to be to draw that body on this shape in the middle. And we return. And you've seen I've drawn that shape which was number four on my first roll. I go to my second roll and it's gonna be my head. And I get a six, which means I'm gonna draw this head right there. All right, as you can see, I drew number six because that's the number I rolled. There's the head that I'm going with. Now I'm gonna roll again and I get a five. So my third roll right here says that I go one, two, three, four, and I gotta add the antenna that have the little hearts. So that's what I'm gonna do next. As you can see, I've now drawn my antenna that have the little hearts. So I'm going to go to my fourth roll. My fourth roll is the legs. So now I roll my dice. I get a one. So I got to draw the simple little legs that look like little L's. Now remember, since it is April and bugs are starting to come out again, as the weather gets warmer, they have six legs. Now I could stop there. I could just do this first part of the sheet, but I've added additional. If I wanted to tail my fifth roll and I get a one, so I get to put a stinger on it. I've now added a stinger to my creature and I got my dice ready. I'm gonna go for wings, the sixth roll. I roll my dice, I get a two. That means I gotta add dragonfly wings. Woohoo! As you can see now, I have added my dragonfly wings. I drew a front pair and then I drew a pair that is smaller than the first pair. I did that foreshortening that Mr. Kistler on some of our videos talks about. So there we go. Now I'm gonna go to my seventh roll. What type of leaf? Is this guy on? It's on the second leaf. It looks like it's a maple. So now I'm going to draw myself a maple leaf underneath here. So here we go, maple leaf. He's sitting on a maple leaf now. Some of it I can't see. I might put the other part over here. Bring it down, and there's the stem coming off the tree. All right, so now to finish it up, I've got one last thing, miscellaneous in it. If you look at miscellaneous, miscellaneous is kind of fun. It's all sorts of different things. A number four. So I get the sun, the clouds, spaceship, or sun with clouds. So I'm going to add some sun. Actually, I'm going to add that first cloud. Then I'm going to add my sun behind it. I'm going to put my sun rays. I'll put some more cloud. Might put a cloud over here and a cloud over here. Now I could finish right here and let it go, or I could color it. So I'm going to use my handy dandy color crayons that I have here, and I'm going to color it. There I've laid in the green for my, my leaf. I've added some orange in, and I'm just using my, I used my orange lightly. Now I'm going to add some darker orange that goes around some of my heavier lines in the marker. Now I'm taking brown and I'm adding brown in various spots. <laughs> spots! All right, there it is. It is my crazy critter challenge. Woo! And there it is. It's all colored up. It's my crazy critter. And here is the sheet of paper that we used that you can use as well. So just make sure you use this and roll a dice and come up with a different creature.